Hello everybody, my name is Moses Toto and you are welcome to another episode of Classical Experience. So in this episode, we are doing the part 2 of the introduction to classical music instruments. I did the part one of the introduction to classical music instruments. So if you haven't watched that episode yet, click on the link below, watch it and come back and let's continue. So in this episode, we'll be looking at the keyboard family, the brass family, then the percussions. Starting with the brass family, the brass family is all about using your lungs <laughs> to produce music, your lungs and your lips. So we start with the trumpet. So the trumpets have the highest range in the brass family and it sounds more like this. The next one we'll be looking at is the trombone. So the trombone is an extension of the trumpet but it's lower than the trumpet. Then it has a movable slide. That's one way you can differentiate between a trumpet and a trombone very easily. The next one we're looking at is the French horn. So the French horn has this loopy loop, 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 moving all over, and it ends with a lip valve. So that's the French horn, and it, it I think in the brass family it has the most soothing feel. Personally, I enjoy the French horn. The last one I'll be looking at is the biggest, which is the tuba. So the tuba is the biggest of the brass family and it has the darkest and deepest teshatura. Moving on, we are looking at the keyboard family. So the keyboard family is, as the name suggests, the keyboard. So we start with the piano. So the piano is the most popular keyboard that we know. The next one is the harpsichord. So the harpsichord is more of the Baroque period, which is the piano for the Baroque period, but it is still used now. So we are adding that to the keyboard family. The next one is the organ, which is the grandest of the keyboards. It's it can be very big and it has a very spooky sound. It is no, it's normally used in Halloween movies and music and you know all that. Then the final one we're looking at is the electronic keyboard. So this is most of the time used even this in this part of uh, the world. Yeah, so normally you can get all tones and voices on the electronic keyboard because you can change it to trumpet, violin, whatever you want. You can do it on the electronic keyboard. It's also called the synthesizer. Remember, always stay hydrated. The final one we'll be looking at is the percussions. So the percussions has a very wide range, variety, whatever you can think of. It's a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. And starting with the percussions, we'll be looking at the tambourine. So the tambourine is very common, especially in the churches and all that. It's also used in orchestra music. 
The xylophone is another very popular percussion. People really know about it, the xylophone. There's an even smaller one called the Glockenspiel. Shout out to Van Dyke. Then the very popular percussion, which I think everybody knows in this world. If you don't know it, then probably you're on planet Mars or something, you're not on Earth. Which is the Simba. So the Simba is this two metal things that you just then, especially in orchestra music, it comes like once in a symphony or twice in a symphony. The next one is a triangle. So the triangle is also a tr literal triangle with a stick which you just We have the castanets. So the castanets is very popular in Spanish, Espanol music. We have the snare drums. It's a drum which we just beat and it has some symbolistic <laughs> sound. Then we have the bass drum. So the bass drum is more like the a bigger version of the snare drum and it's very deep and dark like. Right? We have the maracas. So the maracas is also very popular in Espanol music, which is the The final I'll be looking at today is the timpani. So the timpani is the most popular percussion you can ever think of. And when you just get the timpani rolling, especially in, in especially in Baroque music, it's it's just drives you to <laughs> whether sing along or play along or whatever. Gives you the butterflies in the stomach. I'm really I'm I'm really hoping you enjoyed this video and also you know what to do just subscribe to this channel do so now like yeah like now click on it click on it make sure to also like this video and like my Facebook page Tim Tena and I, I will see you in the next video don't worry I'll see you in the next video